ladies and gentlemen. Now, in today's video, we're going to be having our first play about with a brand new champion and final member, the Fantastic Four, Mr. Fantastic. Now, unfortunately, the three star has like every single synergy. He's got seven of them, uh, apart from the four Fantastic Four team synergy. So he is missing like a little bit of damage output there if you have the rest of the Fantastic Four. Uh, that kind of makes him like void where he's constantly dealing... Um, uh, damage over time uh, for every single debuff on the opponent so we are missing a little bit of damage today but in place of that we do have the nick fury synergy uh, we've also got she hulk for the power sting and invisible woman for the increased debuff duration uh, so hopefully all those synergies are going to work out quite well for the three star today so i'm quite keen to get into some of the gameplay today and start kind of uh, taking on some fights with mr fantastic this champion has a lot of abilities so i'm going to do my best to explain how he works as we go along uh, but he's got three pre-fight abilities, the Petrify, uh, also reducing the defender's power rate as well, and also decreasing the potency of damage over time effects on uh, Mr. Fantastic. But these pre-fight abilities can apply to other champions as well, which is the really cool thing. But if we use a heavy attack, we can refresh these, and we want to keep them up, uh, and keep stacking them, ideally. But we also want to bait out three special ones on Hulk, so we can get improved power gain from Mr. Fantastic. There's a waking ability. If we bait out the same special attack three times in a row, then, uh, yeah, I think it's about 40% increased power gain rate uh, with our three star at the moment. But it goes up a little bit if you do have a uh, five or six star version, or maybe even the four star as well. Right, one more special one. There we go. And that's it, boys. Let's check in a heavy attack, get another refresh there. I think we probably want to go for a special three now. Go for a double medium, straight to a five combo, special three. And your special three gives you a fury uh, based on the amount of debuffs you have at the time of activation. So, you know, there's a lot going on. He's also a little bit of a ramp up champion as well because of the way that he works. But hey, not doing too bad so far, mate. 50 hits, you know. So, Alright performance, he's definitely a very uh, utility, somewhat heavy champion, he's kind of missing like some core base stuff. But with that pre-fight ability and the fact that it stacks up as well, you can get a lot of power gain rate, like uh, reverse regeneration, uh, and all sorts of stuff, and really reduce the amount of power your um, uh, opponent can gain as well. Which I think if you can trap the opponent in the corner is really fun, because I've seen like people spam and heavy attacks. Um, and that seems like a really, really good time. But let's uh, jump into the next matchup now. Got a science symbiote here. Let's go for a double medium straight into another five combo. And I think we should probably get there. A heavy refresh just there. A little bit of safety, boys. Science symbiote. What animations does he have? Okay, he's just kind of got Colossus' old SB1 by the look of it. Right, let's get heavy refresh there. Let's try and bait out special one. Improve power gain, and also um, uh, once you get like that triple special one thing in a row, um, <laughs> that's definitely not the correct term for it. But you also uh, get a little bit more damage because it counts as three debuffs, and Mr. Fantastic has more attack the more debuffs he has. But baiting out this man is just taking too much time, mate. Eh? Like it have been over. Maybe I should have been more patient and bait out. I think another special team might sort this man out. Is that going to refresh my existing ones? Oh, not quite. They fell off. Ah, oh, well, boys. You live in your lamb. Okay, so that wasn't a, the buttery smooth matchup that we wanted. But still, you know, we, we did all right there. And kind of, I don't really know if Mr. Fantastic is necessarily the best champion for these shorter, uh, burstier fights. He's not given off a, a bad performance so far, though. Doesn't feel overly tedious to play. I quite like the animations, man. It's quite fun. So let's jump into the, uh, the Captain America matchup. See if we can maybe bait out some, uh, some special ones there. See how that works out. He does have a, actually a taunt on his special one, but ideally uh, we don't want to utilize that. Because we want special twos and special threes. Let's go for a five combo, strip special two there. Refresh that on the final hit. Uh, 
that's going for another combo. Double medium, straight into a five combo, special two. Oh, there we go, lads. I do quite like that special two. Something about it, I don't know what it is, it feels quite satisfying to fire off. Yeah, it wasn't a bad matchup against Cat, 41 hits there. Again, I'm not really seeing a, um, a crazy god tier performance so far. But also, like, these matchups don't really have the health pool to properly ramp up Cap. Uh, Cap? Fa Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think we might go to some slightly more difficult content after we finish here today. See if we can ramp up this lad a little bit more. I think he needs uh, something with an Act 5 health pool. Really see him shine. Go special two. Dude, the special two might take this last out, I reckon. Oh, almost. Very close. Very close. Let's go for a heavy. We got a crit on that. <laughs> yeah, the powers thing got her. Okay, cool. Well, that worked out quite nicely in the magic matchup, eh? 26 hits. That was a, a smooth little fight. Certainly take that one. Uh, we got Ronan up next, though. Let's uh, track on all the pre fight abilities. Um, one of the things, I, I don't know that I'm like so hot on the pre-fight abilities, and I think this is something that uh, I want to pose to you guys. What do you think of pre-fight ability champions? Because I just, I find it annoying sometimes just to have to like trigger all the pre-fight abilities and manage them, uh, especially on champions like Guillotine 2099 and Stop Suit Spider-Man. And there's uh, a lot of that to um, upkeep as well when it does come to Mr. Fantastic. But what do you guys think of pre-fight abilities? Let me know. Do you think they're a good feature? Do you not mind them too much? Do they annoy you a little bit? I'm curious to get your thoughts in the comment section. Because I don't mind them too much, but they do also annoy me a little bit as well. But I think that's just because I'm a very aggressive player that likes to just get in and smash them. I want to get straight into the matchups, do some damage, uh, and take down some opponents. But that Ronan matchup, pretty good, pretty efficient there. I think the Invisible Woman synergy is really nice because it's giving us a, uh, a nice chunk of additional block proficiency. Is uh, just making these these fights quite a treat. We're not really taking like that much damage. I think block proficiency wise, my three star missed fantastic. I did uh, check beforehand. He's got I think 62.2 percent base. Um, so a little bit lower than average, but obviously if you have Invisible Woman in the team synergy, she gives all the uh, members of the Fantastic Four like a really nice buff to their block proficiency, makes them like well above average. But as a result, they've all got at base um, below average block proficiency. So you know there are pros and cons, right? That, that was the perfect little lineup there. Get the refresh on that. And there we go, one more special one, dude. That's all we need. Come on, mate. Perfect. So we're going for heavy spam now. Another heavy. Right, I think we'll opt to end this fight with special three. Assassin's range. I think that should be enough, man. We got plenty of um, uh, debuffs on him, so it should really ramp up the fury. Just that big old damage boost we're looking for. This portal fist, mate, put in work. Herbie for the finish, boys. I do quite like that special three animation. He's he's really fun to play animation-wise, man. I, I really do quite like the way that he moves. He was um a little bit a little bit weird at first, but I'm starting to I'm warming up to the characters' animations, man. They are <laughs> they're interesting. <laughs> Certainly very different. I think they're gonna be, be very marmite animations for a lot of people. You're either gonna really like the animations or just, you know, not like them at all. Go for a double medium there, straight to a double five combo. Right, can we dodge a special one? Oh, just about with a refresh there, man. A little bit, little bit to the wire, kind of a little bit close. Got to be very uh, attentive to those debuffs, man. It's going to escape you. Ooh, might be able to end this fight with a special one. 
confused. Activates any special now. She's dead. Block damage is just going to be enough to end that one off. So yeah, 34 hits. Not too bad. Let's go uh, to the what is it? Arc Overload Iron Man matchup. Ooh, should be a fun one right here. Uh, do we want to try and go for the heal reversal? It's the question, man. Uh, we'll see how the, the fight kind of plays out, because we could go for another special three, because you can get three of all of the pre-fight debuffs. But I, I think we definitely want to go for banging out the special ones in this matchup, considering it's going to be a lot bit longer. Make sure we're attentive to uh, refresh those buffs as well. Special two there. I don't want to go for another special two. Let's see if I can cheese this man in the corner. Go for straight to another heavy there. Yeah, I think that's the correct play, just for the fun. But look at that. Is that much heal? That's not really that much heal reversal. I think if we get the buffs on from the special one. <laughs> yeah, there is uh, not that much range on the uh, the heavy attack there, but hey, it worked out. 45 hits, certainly not too bad. That was a, um, a very smooth, very efficient takedown. So kind of, I think it definitely adds him to the list of champions that... Uh, can uh, block out healing. There was a little bit of reversal there, but not really too much. I guess the regeneration isn't like that mad. But you can stack up even more debuffs with the uh, the special one as well. So maybe there are there are certain ways to play them in regeneration matchups. I need to do a little bit more testing. I imagine this next fight though um, against the skill symbiote is going to suck. This is not going to be a fun fight at all. This guy shrugs off debuffs like crazy, and I think from what we've seen so far, Mr. Fantastic is a champion. Look, just straight away, man. Gone. It's a champion that's very reliant on those debuffs. He even shrugs off the weakness as well. Oh, man. At least he doesn't show off the power stings by the look of it. So we have <laughs> a pretty small silver lining. <laughs> uh, by far the worst matchup here, though. Definitely going to have a lot of very bad skill matchups when it does come to the, uh, the pass. Your kingpins, your crossbones, your agent venoms are not going to be a good time at all. Uh, at least you can get a bit more damage from the power sting, eh? How much is that dealing when it detonates? Three stacks, just under 900 damage there. That power sting, I've also been informed, does scale up with uh, attacks, so quite a bit higher if we didn't like properly ramped up with the Fury. In this matchup, we can't ramp them up with the Fury because the Fury's based on the amount of debuffs, and if debuffs aren't sticking, boys. Ain't too much we can do there, but Symbio goes down and we are on to um, Maestro. I don't think we've actually used any health potions so far. So he's got some very, very sturdy block proficiency if you've got Invisible Woman on the team. Which is always, uh, yeah, it's always nice, man. Better than some uh, man thing noodle block proficiency. But we only have two pre fight abilities because that was so rubbish there. Oh, mate. Gutted, lads. Absolutely gutted. So that's going to reduce his damage output a little bit in this matchup, man. But we'll see how it um, uh, does turn out against Maestro. Let's get him fully healed up. And in we go, boys. Into the lion's den. Right, double medium there. Straight into a five combo. Just go for a refresh. Get a little bit of safety here. I don't think we willingly want to bait out Maestro special one. <laughs> so let's, let's maybe go for the special two here if we can. I think with a defensive power rate reduction, it might be a bit difficult to push him to special two. <laughs> oh no, 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 we did it. Okay, sweet. Oh, 
Okay, I'm just gonna hold block and hope it doesn't throw a special one. Sword, mate, sword. Good lineup for the uh, special three, I reckon. Hopefully, that's going to push him to special two. <laughs> oh, not quite. Look at that damage, though, boys. We're getting there. Maybe I should have gone for another special three. <laughs> right, sword boys. So overall, that was a an all right um, fight against Maestro. There's definitely like a, a lot to manage and maintain when you're playing Mr. Fantastic, though. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit of practice. 94 hits total. It wasn't the quickest kill I've seen. I don't think he has quite enough damage output and practicality. Uh, I think, uh, you know, my first impression going through that to be a god tier champion. But I think high demigod, low demigod, there's definitely a fair bit of potential there. Um, but I think his synergies are definitely something to... Um, uh, explore with a lot of other characters, man. He's got some very interesting stuff going on there. However, I do want to test him on also some other matchups um, in Act 5 where we're not as stressed due to the, uh, uh, what is that, the nature of the fight. So we've got Iron Man here. Hopefully, he should be a really, really straightforward one. Uh, we'll see how he turns out in this matchup and maybe go for a bit of Thor Jane Foster after. Let's go for a double medium here. Right, that should refresh them just in time. Sweet. if I should have gone for one more special too. Kind of used to that act four rotation there, but let's let's see how this turns out, man. Oh yes boys. That's a sick little combo there. Let's go straight into it again. Oh, a little bit risky, man. A little bit risky. We love it, though, lads. We love it. Right, straight into special two. Yeah, I think we should should have definitely got three of those um, sets of debuffs before going special three. But we'll try that in the Thor Jane Foster matchup. Yeah, that should be plenty of damage there. So again, 84 hits. Mm. It wasn't with a proper damage ramp up though, man. So maybe there's a little bit more to be found. We'll, we'll try the Thor Jane Foster matchup. We do have class advantage in this next matchup though, so this might make it additionally spicy. And also Gamora should be a, a good little fight to test after that. Let's get these last... Um, couple of fights and see how he does perform there. And now we can activate all three of the, um, uh, what is it, pre-fight abilities as well. So we actually might see kind of a higher level of damage on this one. Hopefully much higher, man, because we only had two pre-fight abilities on the Maestro and also Iron Man matchup. Also, I think the thing is, 
don't know if you died. Did you like lose the free five abilities? Oh, I'm not too sure. It's scary if you uh, might do that. Right, let's play our special one. Special 2 animation is so sick, right? One of the petrifies didn't apply there, actually. A bit weird. Yeah, at least we've got the, the buff that increases our offensive power gain rate, though. Alright, let's go for that. Ton debuffs on poor Jane Foster now. Hopefully we're going to see some big damage. How much is that? 6.2k. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh, liking this damage output now, man. That's decent. <laughs> oh, mate, an Assassin's Range 4.4k kick. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. But, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to, like, um, see the crazy potential in Mr. Fantastic, but I think, just from my experience so far today, I'm kind of getting, like, a high demigod tier at best champion. Uh, but I don't know, man, maybe there's additional stuff that I am missing. We do need to test out the utility a little bit more, but we kind of need a higher star version of that to um, you know, do it effectively in a lot of endgame stuff. Special one. Well, that should refresh all of them. Just in time, boys. A little bit close. A little bit close. But now we've got the increased uh, power gain rate, so we can go straight into those heavies. A little bit out of range there. Oh man. Heavy attack is a little bit sketchy sometimes, lads. Right, let's go special three. Yeah, the range on the heavy is rubbish, man. I can definitely see what people are talking about in the CCP when they said the range on the heavy sucks. Just it feels so jammy and inconsistent. Right, I reckon this should be enough if we get a crit. Oh, not quite. Another heavy attack. And there we go. So overall, man. I think um, Mr. Fantastic, he's certainly an interesting champion. Uh, I kind of have hot and cold feelings on him um, after my first initial playtest. I just think for the amount of effort it is to like maintain everything and kind of do this character's rotation, the reward is like nowhere near enough. The payoff just isn't really there. Like, he's certainly not the worst champion in the game. Like, he's a moderately decently hitting champion. 
but at the same time, I kind of just wanted a, a little bit more for kind of the amount you need to invest in like playing this champion and his rotation, because he's just a pain in the ass to play, man. There's a lot of stuff to upkeep there. So yeah, I think he's uh, he's all right, man, but I'm, I'm more interested in kind of testing and playing around with his synergies, especially the... Um, uh, the full Fantastic Four one as well, but I think the class ones could be very, very interesting. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think of Mr. Fantastic in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy today's gameplay video, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.